On the outskirts of the national capital today, black limousines with darkened windows converged on a hotel where private security guards imposed ironclad control. The limos carried royalty, political power brokers, and industrial titans to a secret meeting that will last all weekend. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? Conspiracy theorists think so. Others consider the meeting somewhat less sinister than that. CTV's Ottawa Bureau Chief Robert Fike reports. Who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do! The Simpsons mock the secret societies of the rich and powerful. But this is not make-believe. One of the world's most super elite societies, the Bilderberg Group, has taken over this high-end hotel in an Ottawa suburb. They arrive in bulletproof SUVs and limos under very tight security and no media allowed. I need you to get off the property. Okay, I really do. Thank you. Can you, can you tell us? Uh, I need you just to follow me straight off the property. He refused to confirm the presence of European royalty such as Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands and corporate moguls, financier David Rockefeller for one, and Republican power brokers Henry Kissinger and New York Governor George Pataki. Just need you to stand right here and remain off the property. 130 of the world's most influential personalities are here at this annual gathering. They say the ultra-secret meetings encourage free-willing discussions on global events, but they won't disclose their conclusions. So that's not enough. This kind of secrecy propagates conspiracy theories. On the big issues, the price of oil, the invasion of Iran, etc., etc., the breakup of Canada, incidentally, those things are happening right here. They do not like independent nations, they like regions of slaves working for them. Some influential Canadians are also here. Frank McKenna, Canada's former U.S. ambassador, and power corporation boss Paul Demeray. Even some MPs are worried they're plotting world domination. Yeah, I'm not comfortable with that at all. Who elected these guys to run the planet? Pierre Trudeau, Jean Chrétien, and Paul Martin have all attended this elite group. So did Stephen Harper in 2003. The Prime Minister's office says Stephen Harper is apparently not attending this year's event, but it's been clouded in such secrecy that Canadians probably wouldn't know even if he did. Robert Fife, CTV News, Ottawa. Well, the reason they want uh, such absolute secrecy, in their ideal world, there'd be no airtime, there'd be not a drop of printer's ink spent upon them as they arrive in their limousines, uh, with the shaded windows, uh, hats over faces, are in their helicopters, they don't mind so much because you can't see them get off the helicopter. But they get all this uh, effort for secrecy because evil is performed in the darkness. Good deeds are done in sunshine and they are doing very evil deeds. Hey, did you know the mafia is meeting in there? No, no, seriously, the real mafia. You know, the real mafia has the, the police have to come guard them. Real mafia. Officers. Yes, sir. Blacked out windows, lots of black sedans, old men hiding their faces. You gonna go, go investigate Bilderberg Group, sir? <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do it, huh? No. Hey guys, have uh, the Bilderberg folks started showing up yet? A few of them. So only a few have showed up. More of the Vipers are going to be on their way. Good morning. No, I, I, I cannot identify anybody who's there so far. Well, just be ready. They've been coming in slowly uh, in typically big black cars with what appears to be bulletproof glass and we've got a few pictures of some of the people. Uh, we're being kept well back from the building by an awful lot of uh, security people. Um, and uh, But you know there'll be more security as this thing develops. We expect the CIA to be here, we expect MI6 to be here, and we expect Mossad to be here. They'll be covering for their delegations.
Richard Holbrook? Yeah, absolutely. Guys, focus on the I'm not sure who is walking the culvert. Holbrook, we're not your slaves, Holbrook. We're not your slaves. Holbrook, we don't belong to you. We're not your property. Get back on the sidewalk. We're free humanity. Yeah, there he goes. This is him laughing. That's him laughing? Yeah. That's when he turned his head around and just they went the other direction. Wow. Jim, we just came in from the Bilderberg Group and we're here at the hotel. You've been eagerly wanting the list. It was here waiting for you. Tell us about as much as you can about the secret source and how hard it is to get this list. Uh, off the record again. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, not off the record. I, I, no, I, mean, I mean, this actually did come from Bilderberg. Not James Tucker. Who's me? Uh, oh, so you've got your inside source that sends that to you. So, so, so. But uh, this was sent to you from someone inside yes. the Brook Street Hotel. As you can see, it says Brook Street Hotel at the top. Uh, yes. In other years, the list has been provided by a really unknown benefactor from uh, uh, somewhere else in the country. And how he would get the list, or whoever it is, is simply send it to me without. Uh, the name without his own name without identifying himself and I never have known who it was but I'm grateful for their efforts when they'll somehow obtain the list when they're not even in the city but far away and send a machine copy of it to me that's happened uh, for the last three years what happened this year? Uh, Bilderberg decided to send a list to a guy named and it came to my uh, mailbox here at the hotel. So you go by the name of as your alias? Gee, I hope they don't watch this broadcast. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, but seriously, Bilderberg officially sent you this? As like yep. a joke? No, they thought they were sending it to a good, friendly guy. Oh, really? Yep. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Hi! Hey, we're not your property, we're not your slaves. We're gonna defeat the New World Order. The New World Order is gonna be defeated. You realize that? I'm glad you do. Always does throughout history.